Steel pipes are long, hollow tubes that are used for a variety of purposes. They are produced by two distinct methods which result in either a welded or seamless pipe. In both methods, raw steel is first cast into a more workable starting form. It is then made into a pipe by stretching the steel out into a seamless tube or forcing the edges together and sealing them with a weld. The first method of producing steel pipes were introduced in the early 1800s and they have steadily evolved into the modern process we use today. Each year millions of tons of steel are produced. Its versatility makes it most often used product produced by the steel industry. Steel pipes are found in a variety of places. Since they are strong, they are used underground for transporting water and the gas throughout cities and towns. They are also employed in construction to protect electrical wires. While steel pipes are strong, they can also be light. This makes them perfect for use in manufacturing different frames and furniture. Hello, hello dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you industrial pipe table or plumbing pipe table design ideas for your inspiration. You can use these designs to try to make your own pieces at home. So we advise you to watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. Your subscriptions, likes and shares are what inspire us to create more content. Therefore, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. For already subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audiences. People have used pipes for thousands of years. Perhaps the first use was by ancient agriculturists that diverted water from the streams and rivers into their fields. Archaeological evidence suggests that the Chinese used a reed pipe for transporting water to desired locations as early as 2000 BC. Development of the modern-day welding steel pipe can be tracked back to the early 1800s, and in the 1815 William Woodrow invented a coal burning lamp system to feed the entire city of london with these lights mudrock joined together the barrels for discarded muskets he used this continuous pipeline to transport the coal gas when the lighting system proved successful a greater demand was created for bond metal tubes To produce enough tubes to meet this demand, a variety of inventors set to work on developing new pipe making processes. An early notable method for producing metal tubes quickly and inexpensively was patented by James Russell in 1824. In this method, tubes were created by joining together opposite edges of a flat iron strip. The metal was first heated until it was malleable. Using a drop hammer, the edges folded together and welded. The pipe was finished by passing it through a groove and rolling mill. Russell's method was not used long because in the next year, Comenius White House developed a better method for making metal tubes. This process, called the Bethweld process, is the basis for our current pipe making procedures. In this method, thin sheets of iron were heated and drawn through a cone-shaped opening. As the metal went through the opening, its edges curled up and created a pipe shape. The two ends were welded together to finish the pipe. Welded pipe is formed by rolling strips through a series of group rollers that mold the material into a circular shape. Next, the unwelded pipe passes by electro by welding electrodes. This device sealed the two ends of the pipe together. This process in the United States was opened in 1832 in Philadelphia. Gradually improvements were made in the White House method. 
One of the most important inventions was introduced by John Moon in 1911. He suggested the continuous process method in which a manufacturing plant could produce pipe in an ending stream. He built machinery for this specific purpose and many pipe manufacturing facilities adopted it. While the welded tube process were being developed, a need for seamless metal pipes arose. Seamless pipes are those which do not have a welded seam. They were first made by drilling a hole through the center of a solid cylinder. This method was developed during the late 1800s. These types of pipes were perfect for bicycle frame because they have thin walls and they are lightweight but they are also strong. In 1895, the first plant to produce seamless tubes was built. As bicycle manufacturing gave way to auto manufacturing, seamless tubes were still needed for gasoline and oil lines. This demand was made even greater as larger oil deposits were found. As early as 1840, iron workers could already produce seamless tubes in one method. A hole was drilled through a solid metal around the billet. The billet was then heated and drawn through a series of dies which elongated it to form a pipe. This method was inefficient because it was difficult to drill the hole in the center. This resulted in an uneven pipe with one side being thicker than the other. In 1888, an improved method was awarded a patent. In this process, the solid billet was cast around a fireproof brick core. When it was cooled, the brick was removed, leaving a hole in the middle. Since then, new roller techniques have replaced these methods. Without pipelines, our civilization would come to a screeching halt. There are two ways of steel pipe, one is seamless and another has a single welded seam along its length. Both have different uses. Seamless tubes are typically more lightweight and have thinner walls. They are used for bicycles and transporting liquids. Seam tubes are heavier and more rigid. They have a better consistency and are typically straighter. They are used for things such as gas transportation electrical conduit and plumbing. Typically, they are used in instances when the pipe is not put under a high degree of stress. Certain pipe characteristics can be controlled during production. For example, the diameter of the pipe is often modified depending on how it will be used. The diameter can range from tiny pipes used in making hypodermic needles to large pipes used to transport gas throughout the city. Seamless pipe is manufactured using a process that heats the molds, a solid billet into the cylinder color shape and then rolls it until it is stretched and hollowed. Since the hollow center is regularly shaped, a bullet shaped piercer point is pushed through the middle of the billet as it is being rolled. Typically a light, weight a light amount of oil is applied to steel pipes at the end of the production line. This helps protect the pipe. While it is not actually a part of the finished product, sulfuric acid is also used in one manufacturing step to clean the pipe. Well, dear viewers, as you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting industrial pipe table or plumbing pipe table design ideas for your inspiration. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use in your project from time to time. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.